Hey, what is going on guys? It's Jiggle here and today I'm going to be going over why you should get a paid mod menu here in 2020. Of course, modding GTA is a lot of fun, but some people don't want to pay the extra money uh, for a paid menu because some of them, uh, like VIP Impulse, is $60 and that's like double what you can actually... You can get two GTAs before you can get one Impulse and I understand it. It can be kind of tough getting that extra money, um, forking it, you know, to Impulse and buying VIP, but... I'm going to explain why it's much safer than the free menus. So, uh, yeah, if you like this kind of GTA Online modded content, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, join the Discord, do what you got to do to stay updated with all the future videos. So, the number one reason why I would buy a paid mod menu is because of the protections and pretty much uh, the safety and protections of it. Um, so, detection, you can't really get detected through a paid mod menu, something like Impulse, where you have to inject it through the game, through a different application. You're not just sticking files into your GTA 5 online. I remember back in the summer, with Mr. Mods, it's a free menu, you have to stick files from Mr. Mods into your GTA Online directory, or not GTA Online, but like your GTA 5 directory. Um, so gta or rockstar can find that pretty easily and can just you know kind of decode it and uh, figure out who has and who doesn't have it and instantly ban you but something like impulse where you're just uh injecting it through a different application that can be a lot tougher for rockstar to detect especially if they don't have access to the menu itself they would have to pay the 60 or 30 or whatever dollars for it to actually get access to the menu and decode it and figure out if it's actually in people's games or not or they can just figure out that oh you have a ton of money you're uh, level 8000 and pretty much ban you through that so overall you'll be much safer the paid menu have a lesser chance of getting detected there are some free menus like Kidians that do use an injection um, way of putting the mod menu in the game. That is a little bit more safer, but since Rockstar can easily have access to it since it's free, um, I wouldn't suggest using it because any one of these days now they're just going to figure it all out and pretty much ban everyone who's using Kidians. I mean, yeah, it's just bound to happen. Not saying it's going to happen, but it's just less safer than a paid menu. Next up on the list of paid menus, why you should get one is um, the recovery, of course. For a paid menu like Impulse, you can add almost as much money as you possibly want. That when like Disturb, you can add billions and billions of dollars. I wouldn't suggest adding billions of dollars, but a few hundred mil here and you know spend around 100 mil a day that will be mostly safe almost guaranteed safe with a paid menu if you use a free menu you're not limited to anything you can add billions of dollars and easily get detected but with a paid menu you can add a lot of money and a lot of rp without getting detected of course you can't go overboard and add billions 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 of dollars but there are some paid menus as well like zeus that doesn't have a lot of recovery options they're very small very limited but uh, something like Impulse, you can add probably a few hundred mil, maybe a couple billion dollars, and you'll probably be safe. It's a very low ban rate um, with adding that money, especially through Impulse. Uh, good, really good paid menu. Paid mod menus also are known for having more features. And I'm not talking like weapon features, car features, and that kind of stuff. But they will mostly they mostly have a lot more protections that can protect you from other modders. Uh, spoof your ID, spoof your... Uh, you know your rock star name when you're in a session you know go off radar and stuff like that i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of menus with go off radar but there's a lot more protections that can actually like protect you from getting banned getting reported all that kind of good stuff from a paid menu so i would suggest if you don't want to get banned use a paid menu and you most likely won't get banned because of that now my final reason why you should get a paid modding menu is because it has a very very low ban rate something like impulse you can add a lot of money add a lot of rp add your playing time you know use all these protections keep yourself safe from other modders and uh you know make sure you don't get banned but uh there's also more paid mod menus that can fit your interests and what i mean by that is like if you want a really good recovery one you can get paragon disturbed you know impulse vip i would suggest if you were getting impulse get vip because that's uh, so you can just pretty much have everything if you're more looking for protections from other modders while you do supply runs you know you can just get a good protected mod menu for supply runs i mean if you just want to fuck around and troll you can get a trolling menu it's all pretty much sticking to your standard what you want from a menu but if you act absolutely just don't care about your gta account you can add a free menu i mean there's a there's a good really good chance you'll get banned some people in my comments say 
oh you know i've had this menu for three weeks i've added six billion dollars and i'm not banned i mean sure you can go ahead and do that if you trust them but um i don't trust a free menu at all and i will always stick to paid mod menus i've had a paid mod menu for uh around a month or two now and i don't think i'll ever go back because the protections on it i mean the features on it that can keep you protected and not banned are just absolutely incredible and of course the recovery options you can actually use the recovery options not get banned i know i know there's some free menus out there that can use recovery options not get you banned but overall you're better off with a paid menu and you're better you know sticking with the stealth money through a paid menu and you'll probably not get banned with the paid menu and you know it'll uh keep you safe as long as you do nothing crazy like add a 1 million KD or you know level 8,000 or 10 billion dollars you should be okay with any paid menu. I would suggest staying under a billion dollars, staying under level 2-300 and of course you know not going crazy with uh, you know trolling and getting reported and that kind of stuff. Yeah there are protections but you never know who you can come across another modder that can actually get you banned or something. Who the hell knows? I mean you can always just stay safe and just you know pretty much stick to your own guns so that's about it for the video guys hope you guys did enjoy if you learned something or you know if you if you like the content please remember to drop a like and subscribe and uh, turn on post notifications join the discord other than that other than those other than those reasons the game is seven years old and i absolutely love modding because it makes the game fresh new and a lot more fun uh, I mean, if there wasn't modding in GTA Online, I wouldn't be making content like this. And the support lately has been absolutely crazy. We're almost at 500 subs. If we can get 500 subs by today, Sunday, um, you know, I'll just go nuts. Maybe I'll do something special. I don't know. If you guys want to see something special um, or want to see something else video-wise, you know, you can always go down there in the comments. I read every single comment unless you're a complete dickhead and you didn't watch the video and you think you're smarter than me or you're being ignorant. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, join Discord, do all that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and by the way, press 1 if you watched the whole video. The comments down below. Bye-bye. I wrote this song for the moment that I'm on When I won't have to say the words Cause my fans just sing along Kinda crazy, we work hard just to be lazy I ate miles